Hey guys, today we have another pack with me video. This one is a casual weekend trip to San Francisco. If you guys want to see the full outfits or the trip on display, be sure to catch my vlog. It's the first in a new series that I'm launching. But you know, these videos are meant to be calm ASMR organizing heaven. So kick back, relax, and let's get into it. So for this trip, it's about like a three day trip and I use my base carry on roller luggage in beige along with their new expandable duffel from their winter collection. It's super puffy, it's extra lightweight, and the cool thing is that the actual bottom like expands outwards. So you can zip it up so it's got a shorter height or you can expand it if you need more volume on the inside. But more on this later, let's go ahead and start packing. So for the clothes on this trip, again, you can watch the full outfits in my vlog, but I have a sports bra, a pair of leggings, my underwear and socks. I've got a big sleep t-shirt, four tops, including like a polo shirt, two different sweaters, a tank bodysuit. I also have a singular dress along with bootcut jeans and two different trousers. I didn't end up wearing the brown outfit, but I had that as backup. And then for accessories, I had a black tote, a brown bag, a scarf, and then two different belts to match with brown and black outfits. I used the base packing cubes, which have been my absolute favorite recently because they're zipped vertical they're really structured and then they have just nice details like the faux leather handles and they stay so sturdy but still lightweight I just I love them so I put all the clothes into the large container one and then for the smaller one that's where I put like my underwear the socks the sleep shirt the gym clothes the belts the bra basically all this supporting gear the accessories to the outfits go into this one then for shoes I had two different pairs of boots a black pair and ivory pair and then a pair of running shoes for hiking or walking. For the tennis shoes, I'm able to fit it into the base shoe bags that are more of like a drawstring slimmer pouch. And then obviously the ankle boots take up more space, more volume, more surface area. I use one of the wider like envelope style pouches with the gussets on the side. Okay, moving on to toiletries, I have a new makeup bag that I tried out and I really love. It's the Calpac Clear toiletry bag. I really like it because it folds open into two different sections and then you have like a clamshell opening on each side. It's able to like access all the things but they're not flopping around everywhere and of course I love anything with a full transparency. Girl, I like anything in life with full transparency but this one in particular is really nicely made. Almost like my truffle cases. You've got like nice faux saffiano leather material on the outside, a nice handle. This is where I put all my makeup. Then for my brushes, I like to keep them separate. So I use this really affordable Amazon zip clear pouch. Here's where I put all of my brushes. I like that it fits like my large brushes for my face, the detailed ones for my eyes. I also put like my eyeliner. Anything that's like a thin tool goes in this pouch. It's easy to see. I can grab the exact brush that I need and I also throw in some loose extra backup uh, press on nails in case I lose one during the trip. Then for the actual like 311 TSA liquids that you take on the plane, I don't think they even really check this anymore, especially if you're TSA pre-check, but I just still do this as a habit. I have another cheap Amazon clear quart size um, Ziploc bag. This is where I put my skincare. When I do carry on only for trips, I just dive into like my sample packets and try to put together a skincare routine. I've got like my hand sanitizer, moisturizer. I do the full size of my SPF because I'm religious about that. But basically anything that's liquid or creams that I need to take goes in this baby. Let's go ahead and pack the actual suitcase. So we have the large size base packing cube that has all of our clothes, our main outfits. We've got the two pairs of shoes that I will not be wearing on the plane and then we also have the makeup we also have the smaller size base packing cube with the gym clothes sleep shirt bras underwear socks bags belts and then the brushes in the flat amazon clear pouch lastly i have my dyson air wrap with the largest um, curling iron attachment i really love this tool this is what i've been using for my hair recently i know you guys have been complimenting thank you so much still getting a hang of it nothing's intimidating but i love this base luggage so much i've been featuring it for a while it's one of my favorites because the organization and the thought details is so great. There's like so many zipper compartments. The actual luggage withstands a lot of beating on traveling. I took my other set to Europe and then I just like it more than my away luggage. I said it. Let's go ahead and move to the personal items. So I have the Bay's expandable duffel from their winter collection. This is their puffy, super lightweight collection. I love it because I don't want to take up too much weight in the actual bag itself. And this one like feels really weightless. So the cool thing about this one is that there's a lot of pockets on the outside. You have one large one with like an extreme 
same zippered compartment. You have the two side pockets and then you have the trolley pass through to secure it to the bag, which is such a necessity these days. And then as I mentioned, the bottom opens out. So if you need more expansive volume on the outside, if you want to increase the height, you can zip open the bottom and then it drops out so you can put more crap in there, which I always love. So let's go ahead and load up this bag. First up is my 16 inch MacBook Pro computer that goes right into the laptop sleeve with a Velcro secure snap. Then I have my sketchbook, I'm doing a lot of journaling, a lot of ideas in here. And then I also have a self-help book because your girls are going through a lot. So now we have the tech gear. We have another affordable Amazon zippered pouch. This one comes in a massive assortment set. It's so worth it. It's got a nice grid texture pattern. It's very durable. In here, I just put like my external battery, my camera batteries, my AirPods, my charging cords for like my cell phone, anything that's like small and techy goes in here. And then I also have a sunglass case. This is from like my Gucci uh, sunglasses. I just throw my prescription sunglasses in there too. They probably scratch each other up, but I'm lazy and this is glamorous. So I put that on the side. Then I also have my liquids accessible in here. And then we also have just like my wallet, my set of markers for my sketching and journaling and probably like some mints and a hair clip in there. So the last thing I forgot to film is to put my, of course, my laptop charger in here. But other than that, I love the fact that I could blow that bottom out of that duffel bag and bring more crap home. So anyway, that does it for this pack with me. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. This is like my version of ASMR. I love traveling. I love testing out this gear for you guys. And I'm going to test out a new set soon so you guys can see other things other than bass. I love you guys. Please be sure to catch my vlog. I'm going to be just opening up more and sharing more about my personal life. So if you guys are into that, be sure to check it out. I love you guys so much. Seriously, more than you know. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.